Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge, day by day. In day 14, we're discussing scope. Scope is a fundamental concept of object-oriented programming that relates to what variable and method identifiers refer to. In the constructors in previous videos, we use the same variable name to represent the constructor parameters as well as the properties of the instance that we are initializing. For all other usages of the initialized object, the variable name would refer to the instance's properties. While if you try to reference something of the same name outside of the instance, the variable would not be defined in that scope. The most basic partitioning of scope involves local and global scope. Global scope involves variables that are defined throughout the entire runtime of your application. Local scope refers to just the immediately available context. For example, a variable that is initialized within a method is local to that method. A global variable might be what language your application is being rendered in. And a local variable would be what the text in one text box says. Our task today is to find the absolute difference between two integers, a and b. We need to complete the difference class by writing the following. A class constructor that takes an array of integers as a parameter and saves it to the elements instance variable. And a compute difference method that finds the maximum absolute difference between any two numbers in the elements array and stores it in the maximum difference instance variable. We know also that there are gonna be a maximum of 10 elements and that each element is gonna be between one and 100. Let's look at the example for a better understanding of what we need to do. The sample input shows that we are going to get an array of three elements, which are one, two, and five. We could calculate the maximum difference by computing the absolute value between 1 and 2, then between 2 and 5, and then between 1 and 5. But that means that we are calculating the absolute value three times. But what if we had a large array of elements? What would the number of absolute value computations be? With this solution, we would be doing a round-robin comparison of elements which means that each element is being compared to n minus 1 other elements. This means that our algorithm runs in n squared time, or O of n squared. While this isn't the worst case scenario, it means that our runtime grows exponentially with the length of our input array. Let's see if we can do better. We know that the maximum absolute difference will be the absolute difference between the largest and the smallest element. We can walk through the array and find the largest and smallest element, then only have to do one absolute value computation. This means that our runtime would be in linear time, since we would do n comparisons to find the largest and smallest elements, then one absolute value computation. In interview questions involving unsorted arrays, O of n runtime would be the best possible runtime, since you need to at least read every element of the array. All right, now that we understand the problem and know our approach, let's dive into the code. First, let's finish our constructor. We need to add the maximum difference instance variable, since that is what is going to be printed in the end here. First, let's finish our constructor. We need to add the maximum difference instance variable, since that is what is going to be printed in the end here. We'll set it to zero to start. Next, let's implement our compute difference method. We need to walk through all elements in our elements array and find the minimum element and maximum element, and set them if they're greater than our current min or max element.
We know from hacker rank that the minimum value of an element is one and the maximum possible value of an element is 100. So we can initialize our min and max element variables with 101 and zero respectively so that they are guaranteed to be set by elements in the array. Alternatively, we could have set the min and max value to be the first element's value and then done the same thing to override them afterwards. After we have walked through the array and found our min and max element, we will subtract the max minus the min to set the maximum absolute difference among our elements. All right, let's test our solution. Looks like we passed all the test cases. Let's submit it and see how we did. Great, looks like we aced this challenge. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed the previous video, please click here to review it or click here to view the full Hacker Rank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you later.